Um, I just wanted to get on here and give you guys a quick update. Um, so, I'm on cycle day one of cycle eight, which really, really stinks. Um, we, I was gonna wake up this morning and my husband and I were gonna actually test together. We haven't ever tested together because I'm always too anxious because AF wasn't due until tomorrow or Monday. But um, this is my second cycle that I've had that it's been 27 days. So it's always been between 27 and 29, which is still good. But anyways, uh, yeah, I was pretty bummed this morning. And it was the first time that it kind of like hit me to where I was like, ugh, I was excited about the day we were going to have like yesterday. I was excited about what we were going to do today. And then like this morning after I woke up and saw that AF had arrived, I was like, man, I'm not even like, I don't even really want to go do anything now. I'm like kind of bummed. So it's kind of my first time I've ever felt like that. But I know that it will come in due time and I'm not going to fret too much about it. And the fact that I do have pretty regular cycles is at least a good thing. Um, I am charting like when I have really bad cramps or when I have the certain symptoms that I do. And my doctor said that I can, you know, get back to him the charts of showing those symptoms um, at the end of each cycle and he'll go over them with me and just see if maybe we need to do any tests as far as like making sure that I don't have any cysts or um, like blockages maybe. I don't know. We haven't really gotten too much into it. He just said he would, you know, look into it with me. So, I mean, I'm happy about that. It's more than what my OBGYN has ever offered. So, yeah. I don't know. We'll see. Um, the only, I mean, I didn't really have like really, really bad cramps yesterday or the day before or even today. It's been just more achy and uncomfortable. Um, but the, I, I think it was, yeah, the day I had my positive OPK this cycle, which was cycle day 13 is when uh, it was the worst cramps ever, which I talked about in my last video. So um, I'll probably get back to my doctor with that and he might say, oh, well, let's just see if you have anything this cycle happen, you know, just to see if it's consistent or not, which it never has been consistent. So I have a feeling I'm not going to get too far before my, our 12 months of trying is up. If we get to that point, I hope not, but <clears throat> cause this will be our eighth month and then, you know, we'll see what happens from here. But I'm just trying to think, um, there really wasn't too much. Also, I was going to update you guys on. I just wanted, didn't want to leave anyone hanging, wondering what happened. So, yes, cycle day one of cycle eight. And I haven't decided what I'm going to do this cycle as far as OPKs or all that good stuff. So, we'll see what happens. I will definitely keep you guys updated, though, and let you know what in, I decide and if I decide to do anything different this cycle besides, you know, using Conceive Plus and just taking my vitamins like I have. I've been looking to try to find some new vitamins that have more of the things that I want in it and one vitamin. So I'm trying to decide on another uh, better um, prenatal. So any suggestions are definitely welcome. I've gotten a few from my Instagram friends as to what they take and like how to test them to see if they are breaking down properly, which was really kind of neat. And if I do get new vitamins, I will probably do that test and I will do a video so you guys can see it just to, if you're curious because I've never heard of that before. Basically, if it doesn't break down, I know one site said if your pill doesn't break down within 30 minutes, it's not doing what it's supposed to properly and then others say, you know, within like five minutes or so if it's not, it's not doing what it's supposed to do properly. So I will check into that more here. Uh, I'm trying to decide if I want to order more OPKs because I'm currently out. So. If I want to do it this cycle, I need to decide soon so I can order them off Amazon, but we'll see what happens. I was going to show you guys, we went to the farmer's market for the first time. It was exciting. Well, we kind of had a bad start to our morning, so at first I was just kind of like all Betty, Debbie Downer and everything, but then once I got there and I was able to pick out the stuff, um, I'm happy we went because I didn't get too much because I never went before. I didn't really know. I kind of felt like a noob. I didn't know what I was doing, but um, here is... What we got we got um i think these are white peaches because i couldn't decide white or yellow i can't remember which ones i liked better so i got some white peaches we got two of these this is zucchini um but 
actually you can kind of see the aftermath of what we did we grilled them with um we grilled them with salt or excuse me lemon pepper and garlic salt i just coated them in a bag and then let them soak for about 20 minutes and then we put them on the grill and then i got these amazing looking um asparagus i'm like in really into asparagus right now <clears throat> but um if you can see like that's quite a few asparagus Compa uh, compared to at walmart you get about six or sorry eight wow 16 pieces in a bundle for a couple dollars and i probably like more like four dollars or so i can't remember but this was only three dollars for this huge bundle like it's just and it's a really pretty like i actually never i mean the ends are kind of different looking like smaller um, a little bit kind of almost i could des describe it as shriveled than what you see at walmart but i don't know they looked really good to me and then my favorite thing i got strawberries i got there's like three of these little um, crates in here i got them for six dollars and usually at walmart you get probably about this much for i don't know between it depends on actually where you go because sometimes you can go to the grocery store and these are like you know for probably actually a little less than this it's like six dollars so anywho i tried them and a lot of them are smaller like you can tell it's pretty small and so they have so much more flavor than you know when you get them at the store and they're humongous like the size you know almost the size of i don't know not obviously the size of this but closer to something like this where it's bigger but even bigger than this and they're not like this color like there's a rich red color so anyways i know i'm a complete fruit and vegetable nerd now but <clears throat> anywho that's really all i have um i just wanted to do an update and let you guys know what was going on and i hope to do like another fun or like not so serious video um before my next update but if i do find anything out from like my doctor or if i do find more prenatals and i want to do that test I will get back on here and talk to you ladies then. Otherwise, um, best of luck and well wishes to all my Prego YouTuber friends out there already. I love watching your guys' um, videos just because I've watched you from like when you were itty bitty pregnant to now some of you guys are getting so far along and it's exciting. And also to my friends who are still TTCing. We will get it one day. I know we will. We just got to stay positive and hope that between our doctors and some faith that something will happen. And for those of you who have recently got your BFPs, congratulations. It's so exciting. Like, I'm I'm not at that point, you know, where I'm, like, depressed and angry when I see other people get BFPs. It actually just gives me hope that I have a chance of getting mine, too, still. So, um, I'm happy for everyone that has had it and I hope to see more of them. I like literally, I said, let's see a bunch of June BFPs my, May 31st. And then the next couple days I, I found out of like four people that had gotten their BFP. So I was like, whoa, thanks for listening. Now if it's going to leave my term. But anyways, now we're hoping to get some July BFPs. And I think I looked on my, you know, I'm crazy and obsessed with seeing like when my per estimated due date would be and i think it said like march 15th so we'll see what happens anyways guys i know i've said anyways and so and um and but but there we go <laughs> i will let you guys go and i can't wait to see more videos from y'all in the future bye